What's up? I know it's overdue. It's already February and I thought better late than never. Today I got a special treat. We're going to go over the SMC top 10 FGFS writers of 2020. The COVID era of writing. Who put in the most work? Who was the most creative? Who threw down the hardest? It's going to be a cultivation of all these things. So let's get into it. Per usual, I want to start with a few honorable mentions. Honorable mentions include Andy Sparks, my man. He's kind of a hybrid between FGFS and Trick Track, always puts in work, constantly riding, constantly putting together crazy combos. A Trick Track version of this list is coming out next, so stay tuned for that. My man Oscar Lopez, LA local, he put in a lot of work in 2020. He put out a very, very good video called City Boys with some great cinematography and some great riding from both Oscar and Marco Marquez, one of my other favorite riders. Check out that video if you haven't seen it. He's definitely worth mentioning because he kind of went on a hiatus for a little bit. He came back from the grave. You love to see it. Oscar Lopez is the man. Another honorable mention is just all of the Fixie Boys up north. PVN, Cam, and a whole bunch more people who like came out the woodworks this year. I'm pretty sure everybody got bored during quarantine and was just like, yo, I might as well get a bike again. And they came out with a squad. They came out with a really cool video called Goons on Deck, which is their whole squad throwing down for a good like 10 minutes. Definitely watch that, definitely worth mentioning. Another honorable mention goes to Yori out in the Netherlands with fixated FGFS crew. He's been killing it, really smooth flow. He's really good at riding park and he's been putting out a lot of edits this year and I really enjoy watching his riding. So big shout out to him. And last but not least in honorable mentions is my man Justin Mitchell, AKA Congo. He came out super strong again this year. We haven't seen him ride very hard for a few years and it wasn't looking like he was ever coming back, honestly. But out of nowhere, he picked up a bike again and has been shredding with the boys up north. Um, I think they're really pushing him to ride more, so that's awesome to see. And I love seeing Congo ride, so shout out to Congo. Now let's get into the top 10, or should I say top 11, because I could not shave this list down. It was hard enough to get it to 11, and I just could not take any names off this list. So this is gonna actually be a top 11. I'm sorry I lied. Coming in at the number 11 spot is 855TJL. I don't even know his name. That's just his Instagram handle. He's a Chinese shredder who kind of came out of nowhere in 2020, or maybe a little earlier than that, and he is just on a tear. Insane flat ground tricks, like the most technical I've ever seen for sure, like flat 180 double bars, flat trucks both ways. Um, he even threw like a flat double truck, which like it, it was almost there. I give it to him. That's hard. That's super hard. I can't do that. He's pretty good at riding spots too. He like truck stair sets and man, the kid is just insane at throwing bar spins. I'm excited to see his style develop if he keeps riding. So hopefully he keeps riding. Fingers crossed. Keep with it, man. You're killing it. Coming in at number 10 is Columbia's own JNTTT99. He also doesn't have his name in his Instagram bio, so I don't actually know his name, but he's with the Ephemeral Gang out in Columbia. He doesn't ride very many spots. I think it's mostly because there's not that many spots out there, but he's really, really good at riding flat ground. He's got super good bike control, really good style. One of my personal favorites to watch throughout all of them. 2020 and even before that, he's been killing it. Just buttery, smooth tricks and like really good back pedal control and bike control in general. He takes number 10 spot. Number nine, I'm gonna give it to the rough co-ring leader, Matt Spencer. Matt has been putting in insane amounts of work as he's been traveling across the country on his own, just finding desolate spots and empty skate parks and just really killing it with the self film clips. And he always brings on a super creative approach to riding. One of the only dudes really doing crazy brake tricks on fixed gear. And when he approaches a spot, you just never really know what he's gonna do. So it makes it really exciting to watch him ride. He's got OG points, been doing this since the beginning. One of my favorites to watch of all time. So it's really sick to see such a legend still killing it in 2021. Now, number eight brought back a legend who we haven't seen on a bike in a while, but he came pretty hard in 2020. And that's the man, Josh ba 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 boothby Mr. All Day. Jumping jellyfish frog, man, Josh Boothby. He just shreds harder than like 
anybody. All of his BMX skills translate perfectly onto a fixed gear freestyle bike and he sends it. Like he just came back from an injury this year, I believe. So honestly, you don't really see people ride like Boothby. And he'd probably be higher up the list if he just rode a little bit more. He's always been one of my favorites to watch, so it made me really excited to see him get back on the bike again. So shout out to Josh Boothby, number eight. Number seven, I'm gonna give it to SMC's own Chase Henley. He's a young blood, only started riding like two years ago, but is already better than like everybody. The kid is such a prodigy. Like the fixed gear drive change just like comes super natural to him. And he's just been on an absolute tear. Um, he filmed a really good section for our video, Can't Jewel the Youth. If you have not seen it, you should definitely check it out and just watch the tricks he does in that. It's insane and go on his Instagram and look at his tricks. Like the kid just has so much bike control. He's already better than like all the clips we got for the Can't Jewel the Youth video. And we've been working on a Welcome to Rough Bike Co video for him. So I'm excited to premiere that on the channel. So look forward to that. Young Guns coming through. Number six, I'm gonna give it to Chase number two. Chase Davis, Salt Lake City's finest. First of all, he's just one of my favorite dudes. He's awesome on and off the bike. His style is just unparalleled. He kind of manhandles his bike, makes it do what he wants it to do. Really good at everything, pretty much. He can ride trick track really well. He can ride FGFS really well. Really good on a scooter too. Shout out to Scoot Reynolds. Chase just kind of has it all. He's one of the most well-rounded riders I've ever seen on a bike. The dude is just like, a rock, just solid as a rock, dude. Solid as a freaking rock. Number five, uh, you definitely knew this guy was gonna be on the list, uh, Jimmy Watcha. There's no need to even introduce him, he's a killer. Absolute street maniac. Basically like Brandon Began on an FGFS bike. So much tech, no fear. He'll do combos that you gotta like look at three or four times to really comprehend. He basically has just like BMX control on his fixed gear, but a super creative, mindset to go with it so it makes for some really awesome riding he's another dude who like i feel like he puts out a clip like every day which is sick to see you'll get to a spot and he'll just have some crazy idea that nobody else would have thought of so shout out to jimmy you're the shit number four i'm gonna give it to my man miguel zendejas miguel if you looked up the word powerhouse miguel zendejas would come up he's just an absolute unit on a bike, he is just a machine. I mean, you can see his clips and tell that, but if you ever ride with him, it's scary almost. I wanna go cower in fear. The only dude who can do flat tail whips consistently and like tail whips on fly out every single time. The man's can't jewel the youth section, which we filmed over the last couple years. In my opinion, one of the most insane fixed gear parts that is ever dropped ever you haven't seen that yet i highly highly recommend you do he busted his ass filming for our video he's also amazing on a bmx and it translates directly to his fixed gear freestyle so he'll like learn something on his bmx and then just hop onto his fixed freestyle bike miguel can pretty much do anything that you tell him to do hey you should go hit that rail. Hey, go bar spin that insane stair set. Hey, do a feeble hard three. And I'll just be like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. I'll try. And then just like does it first try. And you're like, Miguel, shh, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Please check out his Instagram. His clips are insane. Shout out to Miguel. All right, we've hit the top three. I'm very vocal about how much I love this rider. Matt Dizon, AKA Matt Bastard number three spot. One of the coolest riders to watch on a bike. The dude has endless creativity, really good style, really smooth, and really good approaches to spots. He has a brake now. He's really good at using his brake. He puts out so many clips all the time and they're always cool to watch. I really wish he'd put out a full edit. I hope so soon. Yeah, he went hard in 2020. Shout out to Matt. I'm excited to see what else he does this year. Number two on this list is the Japanese shredder nasty aka Tepe Iwabuchi man I cannot say enough good things about nasty he's the only person on this list still on 700s Steez 
for days. When I think of the word Steez, nasty instantly comes into mind. He just is so good at doing cool skids and thinking of new things on a bike. In 2020, he did exactly that. He put out so many clips, rode a lot, kept it stylish, and he does his own thing. One of my personal favorites to watch. I mean, that's why he's on here. And he always has been. And it's sick to see such an OG still killing it this hard. Shout out to Nasty, man. He's so sick. I got to finally meet him in Japan when I went last year. He didn't speak any English. I don't speak any Japanese, but we were just chilling, dude. So it was sick. Number one on my list, and this may come off as biased, but I can prove it mathematically why he's number one, is my dude, Marco Marquez. Marco Marquez has everything that you need on a bike. Insane style, insane hops, uh, no fear. The dude has literal no fear. You just tell him to do something, he'll be like, oh, I don't know. Okay, I'll do it. And then just like sends it. Plus in 2020, he put out so many videos. We finished filming his Cancho the Youth section, which was insane. He had a whole bunch of sick tricks in the City Boys video, and he filmed a whole video with Matt Reyes, which was also really sick. And he didn't pull any punches on any of the videos. He went hard in all three of them, and it, it takes a lot of riding and a lot of commitment to film for three videos. And he did that all in one year. So Marco definitely went the hardest, both in quantity and quality of tricks. Almost nobody's smoother than Marco. He's just goaded. He, he kind of went missing for a while. He, he was off the bike for a good like three or four years. He had a random urge to come back, I guess, and killing it harder than ever. Shout out to Marco. I'm so excited to see what my dude is gonna do in 2021, and you should be as well. That just about wraps up my top 10 favorite FGFS Riders of 2020 video. If I missed anybody, please leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and look forward to the top 10 favorite Trick Track Riders of 2020 coming very soon to the channel. I plan on doing more talking head videos like this because I got this sweet new mic. So if you like this, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you feel like it, helps me out a lot. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Peace.